In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test a hypothesis with two or more population. Now, there are many ways to test a hypothesis ranging from z-test, t-test, chi-square test, and f-test. So the next question you ask yourself is, how do you know which one to use? Well, it all depends on the sample size and the number of population or groups. Let's say you have a business in retail comprising of three stores. You want to conduct a survey to find out customer satisfaction. So you survey four customers who frequent in all three stores. Since we have three stores or three groups or three population, we will use ANOVA. What is ANOVA? In essence, it is used to test for significant difference between groups or population, meaning three stores. And here is the result of the survey. So we get the mean from each group or from each stores. So we have 63 all the way to 88, which indicate based on observation, they are different from one another. Now we want to test that observation if using ANOVA will net the same result or it will differ. Now in order to use ANOVA, we do the following step. First is go to data tab. Next is select data analysis. Now for those who don't have data analysis, you can check out my other video, how to enable data analysis. Once you've selected data analysis, select ANOVA. Now you may notice you have three choices here. Since our assumption here is based on observation, we will use ANOVA single factor, which is based on the factor of stores. So go to input, select all three columns from store one to store three. Once done, go to groupings, make sure it's highlighting columns. Next is check the back process labels. The next, make sure the level significance is 0.05. Then your output display is, in my case, I prefer the same worksheet. Then click OK. Once done, we should have a summary output. Now there are two main parts. The first is the descriptive summary of the survey, the mean as well as the variance. So the mean is the same as before, it ranges from 63 to 88, while the variance indicates a highly dispersed data set or result. The second table is your ANOVA, in particular the p-value. If it's greater than 0.05, we do not reject the null hypothesis, which indicates that the mean response, in this case customer satisfaction rating, is the same from all three stores. And that's the end of the video. Or we could do one more test. So we'll do another ANOVA test with a slight difference. In this case, we'll use a two-factor ANOVA test. So the first that we use is based on the stores. And the second factor we'll be using here is the customers themselves. So we'll repeat the same process as before. Go to Data tab, select Data Analysis, select ANOVA two-factor without replication. Next is input the data set. So include the column under customers, then select also the stores from store one all the way to store three. Then next is groupings by columns again. Check the box for labels, then the level significance, then the output, then select OK. And you clearly see here based on the summary output, there's additional information provided. So you can see here not just the means for the columns in terms of stores, but you can also see the rows in terms of customers, the means, as well as the variance. So you can see here that the mean as well as the variance differ from one another and they're widely dispersed. And looking at the ANOVA table, in particular the p-value, it's less than 0.05, which we will reject the null hypothesis, which means or indicate that the mean from the different stores are different from one another. To sum up, single factor ANOVA is based on observations. On the other hand, Two-factor ANOVA is based on experimental design. Now, is one method better than the other? Not necessarily. It all depends on the application and what it's used for. And that concludes our video. If you find this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. You can also leave your comments down below to suggest topics on future videos. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.